Hey everyone, Team Newbie Drone here, and we are going to walk you through building our new flight controller and putting it into your actual frame. So let's get started. The first step is going to be to actually go ahead and grab the motors, and you're going to slide the motors right into the actual frame here. So just slide it and just pull it out. And one of the tricks that we like to do here is you're going to use your fingers and put each finger over one of the struts so that when you use your fingers to push it in you won't accidentally break one of the struts there and it's natural for the motors to be a little bit more difficult to actually slide in and just make sure that you pull out the wire as you're sliding it that way you won't pinch any of the actual wire into the frame so you're just going to do that times four and the motor direction and whatever motor um, you know color wires you're going to be using can all, all the information is going to be you know, based on what motors you're flying. So we're just going to go ahead and do it for these motors specifically. So you're going to go ahead and pull that through. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So the motors that we're installing here are actually our new motors. Um, some of the differentiate about them is that they are, have the exact cut length um, for wire length that you're going to need for the leads to actually give you a super clean build. But we'll get more into that um, and put all the information into the comments and everything as well here to the actual video description. So let's go install the last motor here. So once the motors are all installed, uh, we're going to do a little trick we like to do. Um, so there's two options. You can actually take the flight controller right now and plug it into clean flight if you'd like to and, and bind it and get it all ready. Or what you can do is what we do is we like to take these two tabs right here that you'll see on each end and just snip those off. The reason why we snip off both of those is because it makes it easy so you don't have to figure out which one's going to be where when you're actually getting the flight controller installed. And then we also like to take it at about a 45 degree angle on each side and cut that as well. So the reason why we're getting this video out to you right now is so you all can get your frames prepared so that when your B-Brain arrives, you'll be ready to go. So just snip off those two sides and then you're going to take the flight controller and you're going to slide it in uh, to the back there. Um, and what you're going to do is go ahead and grab the provided grommets and you're going to take four grommets and push them in. The first time you do this, it can be a little bit uh, difficult. So it may take you a few tries to get them to stay in when you're putting it into the board, but um, don't get discouraged. So go ahead and put all four in there, and then you're going to go ahead and slide the pigtail through the back, and you're going to go ahead and put each one of those grommets onto one of the holes that provide for the screws. One thing that we also like to do here, um, a little tip, is we like to get our screwdriver before we put the first screw in, and make each of the holes a little bit bigger, it makes it a little easier for all the screws to actually go in as well. Um, you don't need to do that, but it just we found it makes it a little easier for us when we do build these out. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your screwdriver and then you're just gonna quickly go back and forth. Um, makes it a little easier. So what you're not gonna wanna do right now is you're not gonna wanna install all four screws because if you do that, you're not going to be able to put the mounts on there. So we're just going to take the back screw right now. Um, a lot of pilots don't even like to use this back screw. So Jesse Perkins from Tiny Whoop actually prefers to fly without the back screw in there. Um, but just for sake of video, we'll go ahead and put that in there as well. So you slide the screw in. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your screwdriver and screw it in there. The first couple screws can be a little difficult to get in on a brand new frame. So this is a brand new frame we're using right here. So once that's in, we're gonna go ahead and get the solder pads ready to solder. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of flux here and put that on each of the pads. Boom, boom. And then we're going to grab a little bit of solder, solder to solder tip. We've actually already pre soldered this one for the video. Um, what you're going to do is solder there, and then you're going to solder right there. So the top one's ground, 
and the bottom one's the power. So you're gonna take your camera, do the same, get it prepped and ready to go. So um, go ahead and grab power wire first if you'd like and solder it on. You're just going to make sure that these two pads do not touch as you are soldering, otherwise you'll short out the flight controller and the camera. So go ahead and add the ground one, perfect. And then you'll see here that it's a pretty small little area, but you just want to make sure those two areas are not touching. So you're going to take the camera mount, um, put your camera inside of it. Um, and what we do is take the antenna and kind of slide it under that mount and kind of pop it up on the back so it looks nice and clean. Keeps it out of the way and keeps it a little protected. And then you're going to grab the rest of the three screws and you're going to go ahead and put one into each series. So depending on which file you print for the mount, some files are a little harder to get the screws into than others. So you may have to kind of push the screw in, screw it in a couple times and get it to be a little bigger for the hole, depending on what 3D printer you're using as well uh, and the filament you're using. So, but once you get that in, it just makes for a really nice clean build. So once you get all those in, just tighten them up a little bit. Um, the dampeners make it nice and easy so that way you can keep it all nice and clean and now we'll go ahead and flip it over real fast so you can see why we modded that area so the bind button um, for the FR Sky compatible version is right there so we put it on the bottom so that way you won't accidentally hit it or have any kind of issues while you're flying so you're just gonna take it and um, bind it as you would with any other flight controller so we can make a video on that if needed um, also right here as you can see this is the USB plug um, so the USB plug is uh, right in the right on the back there and based on some of the positioning depending where it's at you may have to kind of move the one area of that bottom part back a little bit um, but most of these will slide in without an issue but if you do have an area where that is hitting the USB plug you just kind of bend it over a little bit and it'll fit right there so um, that's the build area we're gonna go ahead and plug in the motors now into the flight controller so with these new motors, we're going to show you the length right now, but then we'll twist them right now too to show you how clean it looks once you actually do that. So, um, have that right there. So as you can see that the, the motor length is correct, so we'll take it out real fast and see how small it is. And then we actually like to, to spin these too. Um, it makes it look a lot, a little more neat for the actual build. We don't like to spin it too much. Some people will spin it a lot. Um, we just like to make it look just like that so it's nice and clean. So we'll go ahead and pull this one out. And we'll have more specs on these motors, like I said. So we've been getting a lot of questions about these. And then we'll do that for the other two as well. It's all optional, you don't have to spin this, you don't have to do um, a lot of the stuff that we do. We just like to do this because we built a few of these and this is just the way we, our preference for it. So we'll go ahead and spin that last one as well. So once you get that on there, you'll just grab your Tyrannus or whatever you're going to be using to fly, depending on which flight controller you got, and bind it, and then you'll be good to go. And then you add props on it, and it'll look just like this with the props on. So this will give you everything you need right there. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if there are any questions, be sure to let us know, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Bye.